Good morning. We're gonna cook some breakfast. Come join me for cooking breakfast this morning. Right. All I have to do is get dressed. I got ready from here up. <laughs> We're just gonna have a regular breakfast. Some sausage and eggs. breakfast burritos. What do you think, bad breakfast burritos? That sounds good to me. All right. There's like three, three, four of these, so that would be, that'll be good. We'll do some scrambled eggs. Some sausage in there. Egg sausage and cheese, huh? We also have grated cheese already. bit of that garlic infused oil in here, extra virgin olive oil, garlic infused right there. Get that turned on. Add a little butter. The reason I do um, oil and butter together is they help each other own and it helps each other not burn. So if you put just butter in there it could brown It'll brown very easily. Oil can also brown. And uh, so that's what I like to do. And we're going to get some onions in there as soon as that warms up. Hmm. I think this one will. Oh, that's not going in the cooker. I like this one here. It's not really a, it's scoops. It's kind of just a wedge. I like it. I can starting to melt, so we want to get this good mix together. When that starts sizzling, we will be ready for the onions. for the eggs. very fast on these stoves and you really want to cook at a lower temp that's for sure. I like, I like to turn it on to like a medium high, a six, or not a medium high, but uh, just, just over. And I didn't cut these onions down as much as I should have, but that should be good I suppose. But that'll be okay for now. We're gonna roll with it. I'm gonna put them in the pan. They're a little big. <laughs> Can't take them out and cut them down now. I suppose I could, but I'd make a mess and I'm not gonna do that. Just going. Four. I 
and maybe have a little leftover even. I'll just start putting these in there. We'll see. <laughs> that, the shell is like just crushing in my hands. That's weird. I don't like the white. Um, like the whites are fine, but it's the uh, those things. I don't like them. I try and take them off, but it doesn't work. trying to fix my eggs because they're mostly be that way with the eggs. But right now I'm just going to not do it and not think about it and I just cook it because I love eggs. And once they're cooked, you just very rarely run across. So I'm just going to go for it. That's five. Six. Maybe. And we'll do eight. Two. Two per. That'll be good. Eight. See, I'm down to a, like a medium low because these burners are too hot. And then I turn it down, and guess what happens? It stops cooking all together. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll do eight. small on top and all the on the bottom. I don't know. I don't think they're different sizes. Oh, maybe, yeah. The bottom one looks taller. So yeah. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. So those are caramelizing. We're gonna get the sausage in that bowl. Put the eggs right here. Use regular oil for the eggs. Turned on. A little butter in that pan is the bell. Sausage can go in. scissors are MIA missing in action. Uh -oh. okay. Get my meat masher here. Oh yeah, this is like a medium low. 
right near my ass. I should bring a technician out here, a fridge air technician out here. So tell me, how old do you think these are? <laughs> right? I'm frustrated with this still. It's terrible. This sausage seems so dry. Why? Put oil and butter in there. Dry, dry, dry. I don't know why. Shouldn't be. I mean, that's good stuff. You know, it's not burnt. It's getting caramelized, which is a good thing. It's not going to turn it down. I just got to pay such close attention to it that I can't get nothing else but I just let it cook. It's on low. I mean, I don't know how much lower to go. I go any lower, it's going to just shut off. So, like I said, you can't walk away for a minute. Have something on low and walk away because it will burn even if it's on low. But this, however, did not burn. It looks delicious. <laughs> so, I, don't know. I added a little bit more oil and butter. It really helped it out. And the caramelization on the meat here is going to be fantastic. So we're going to see now. It sounds like it's cooling off. I don't know. What do you think? Turning off. Or heats up in 30 seconds and then takes five minutes to cool down. Mm, maybe that's the problem. <laughs> I do not know. But I'm washing my hands. I wash my hands so much. I'm going to get a roll of paper towels. will look good for the eggs. <laughs> Got an onion in there by accident. There we go. Yeah, this is good for eggs. Not so much for breaking up meat. <laughs> Looks like we're getting some caramelization on those on that sausage there. Oh, not yet. Like I said, every time I touch it, it cools down. Sucks. Because I got fucked over again. Because they bought a new stove, just like their stove. Took the fucking burners, gave me the new stove and the old burners. Yeah, not not a good plan. Because now I'm just pissed off. So my eggs are coming out nicely though. Gotta keep it going. Turn it up, turn it down. Turn it all on. I just gotta learn how to deal with it until I get that work order in and stuff. I'm a procrastinator. So because of mental issues, 
I procrastinate almost everything in my head. I plan it and then I don't execute it for a while. So, but I do eventually get there. Do I stress myself out because of it? Yeah, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. I do, but it's not a bad thing to deal with. I mean, you just gotta deal with it, you know? You gotta deal with it up here, in your head. So, the thing is, is I don't wanna do anything or go anywhere. It's not that I don't want to, I just don't want to, right? So somebody will invite me to something and I'll say, no, I'll force myself to say yes, and then I've got to force myself the whole way. Halloween party, birthday party, whatever it is. I, I want to go and I don't want to go. I'm comfortable not going because I like to stay home. Because I have anxiety and shit like that. But once I get out and get there and do what I'm going to do out there, um, I have a lot of fun. Then I become that chameleon type person and joking around, having a good time, saying and being the person you want to be with for the night, you know, like partying, whatever, you go out with your girlfriends and your party, and you have a drink, and, you know, a different personality comes out, and I have a great time. So sometimes I do force myself to do it, because I know I'm going to have fun once I get there, especially if it's something I really want to do, like a concert or whatever. Yeah, so we were we had tickets, me, my friend, and her girlfriend had tickets to a Gwen Stefani concert. Um, she was five months pregnant at the time, so it was that many years ago. I'm not sure how many years ago it was. We were still living at Meridian Ridge, so it had to have been prior to 2005. I don't know. So it was a lot of years ago, but I had a ball. Um, so we bought the tickets and we it was set that we were going and I didn't have any anything to wear so and I was thinking you know I'm just gonna I'm just gonna cancel I'm just gonna not go right and uh, I didn't burn the egg well I didn't burn them but there <laughs> I didn't burn them that's the important thing <laughs> so they're fine. So we went, and I, I um, wanted to be free and and kind of hippie dressed up, you know. So I took a pair of jeans, straight leg jeans, and I bought some flowery green and yellow bright color material, and I cut them into bell bottoms, the the material, the bottom of the bell bottoms, right, and pinned them to the pants. So the pants were pretty cool, and then I made a vest and a headband and all this. It was fun. So we went and we had a good time. Uh, she she wasn't jumping around a lot because she was five months pregnant, but, you know, I mean, that's understandable, even though I was like, oh, man, I can't believe she's pregnant because I would not have gone. And, you know, I mean, have a kid, yeah, definitely, but when you're in that kind of business, when you're jumping around and stuff like that, you want to mellow that out while you're pregnant for sure. So these are done, and I'm going to put them in a plate, on a plate for now, or maybe in a bowl for now, they're sizzling away, so eggs are ready to go, I'm gonna whip up a little bit of that country gravy to put in there, that'll be delicious, huh, alright, this pan is hot and needs to be moved, this one could be shut off. Yeah, so this is just about perfect. Actually, got a little bit of caramelization on there. Got some caramelization in there. We're just going to add right now. But it's still hot and going. Garlic doesn't take long to cook at all. So it really only takes a, a minute. So as that cools, as the burner cools down. We are going to mix that garlic in for a second there. Get that nice and incorporated. But like I said, garlic doesn't take long. And you don't want burp, burp bits of garlic in there. Put so that in last. Let it cook for a minute or two. Get that brownie color look on it. All right. 
I think I have it all the way off. <laughs> That's okay. That's about good. So just like a minute, just let it sit there as the burner is cooling down and finish up that garlic. And do some salt. You can season salt and pepper at the very end without a problem, especially on scrambled eggs. And my preference is to uh, pepper after you cook the eggs because then your eggs don't turn gray. I may have put too much salt in this sausage. <laughs> I forgot it was sausage. Let me take a bite and see. Get a little taste. Yeah, the garlic is browning up nicely. Oh, hot, for sure. Mm -hmm. Oh, good luck. Thanks, Billy. I did not always use it. So, I do have of some gravy that I had out a couple of days ago. What did I do with that? I could just make gravy, but I think I have a packet of country style gravy somewhere. Here we go. Nope. Odd juice. Odd juice. God, look at that. Odd juice. Odd juice. Odd juice. Brown gravy. That's brown gravy. We don't want brown gravy. We want that ah, country gravy. Original country style gravy. Okay. Makes two cups. Let's do this real quick. So two cups of water, obviously. I gotta read the instructions. I don't know about water. Let's see. Uh, two cups cold water, yeah. So I'm probably gonna shake one cup of water and one cup of milk, maybe. Oops. Might be two. Okay, so. Yeah, I want to do it in the microwave. I'll do it on the stove. I'll do it on the stove instead. Yep, that's looking really good. The garlic is getting in there. I only see a couple little pieces left. Once the garlic is like the same color as the meat um, for browning, then it will be good for sure. So we're gonna just let that rest there for a minute. That looks very good. Uh, I think I want it uh, thicker. I think I do. I think I want it thick. Oh, it's gonna be so good. Okay, two cups. Okay, this is big enough. It has a little measurement inside. I like that. Um, so we're going to put a cup of milk. So, yep, we're going to do it. I always resort back to these ones because these are have the rubber bottom. See, it's a rubber. It's um, liquid and powder. Oh. So we're gonna start the milk and the water. Maybe I'll just do, so that was one cup. And maybe we'll just do a half cup of water for volume. See, I can tell by the measurement. One and a half cups right there. Okay. Uh, we're gonna turn this on. Yeah, that's really good. One, mm -hmm. one. Looks perfect for the amount. Egg's got some color to it, but that's not always a bad thing. Oh my god, 
why I keep, I keep grabbing those little tiny shrimp forks. Get this going. Rinse the egg off of that, and I can use it in here. It might get hot. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think the handles get hot. I'm just going to use this fork. Okay. You can go away there. You can go back. Okay, wow. Well, it's on medium. It'll heat, heat up sometime eventually, I guess. You don't want to heat them out too fast, but then you do now. Then you do now. Done, done, done. No, not done. Not done. Um, yeah. It's clean. I clean it every time. Clean it multiple times a day. I guarantee it's clean. <laughs> Besides, just me and him. And the dog and he doesn't care if I stick my fingers in the food these are the hands that cook the food the fingers are going to be in there <laughs> but we are going to have a good day huh babe bye babe we're going to have a good day huh babe yes we are we're going to go out and go shopping and maybe even eat lunch out huh yeah maybe like um, Mod's Pizza. I've been thinking about Mod's Pizza. Or Panera's. Mod's. We have this pizza company up here. I don't know if it's in other states, but it's called Mod's Pizza. And Mod stands for, stands for On Demand. No, Made On Demand. So it's Mod Pizza. Made On Demand Pizza. So you go in there and all the toppings are in the little bins, right? Behind glass. And you pick out what kind of crust you want. And then they roll that out to a pizza crust. And then they cut what kind of sauce. They have some white sauce and things like that. A regular pizza sauce and whatnot. And uh, okay. it's on medium. I don't get it, babe. I don't, I just don't get it. Because I'm lifting the pan up. Okay. Okay, I'm going to turn it up. It's not heating. Fingers in the milk. It's not warm. But I lift my hand, my burp, and it's warm. But because of the induction part, I should not be lifting the pan off. I don't, see, that's where I don't like it. I should be able to lift the pan off and put it back on without the burner turning itself off. Or, you know, whatever. Now I, I have it on seven, so I have it on medium high now. So. There's seven, eight, and high. That's as high as it goes. So it only goes to an eight. So nine would be high. And I have it on over seven. Come on. It's starting. I put it on six, and it'll be boiling in a second, which is lower than the seven, which is, it drives me fucking batty. I don't 
don't know what the directions say, but I'm just going to put these in there. Put this in there and put on there. See, that's why I like to have all my dishes put away and everything because they're the drawers here. Got them over there sitting in the basket drying because I just used them in the dishwasher. So there we go. I'm going to whisk that in. That looks pretty good, actually. Did I do the right stuff? Original Country Gravy McCormick's. Well, I'm assuming this is how you do it. Bring it to a boil, it'll thicken as it cools, right? La, 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 la. We need it really thick, though, for breakfast burritos. Oh, where's the burrito part? Oh, I got it right there. All of a sudden, I thought, oh, do I have burrito? <laughs> so, oh, it's thickening up nicely. All these lumps out of it. Oh, yeah, that's good. What did I tell you? Seven, it barely warms up. At six, it's boiling, which is lower than seven. So, that looks good. It's thickening up quite nicely. I don't want it to boil, but I want it to get almost to a boil because I don't want to break the milk. If I break the milk and the curdles in there, it just won't be good at all. But that looks nice and thick for the burritos. Let's get some salt and pepper in there. Uh-oh, this one's out of pepper. This one it comes out really fine. I like that the way it comes out in that one. I probably have peppercorn in my pepper container as well. I'll put a little bit more big peppercorns in there. Might work. Good and thick for the burritos. And now, uh, cheese. And then we're going to just assemble these right here. Okay. I hope this works out. Why the lower I go is in my no no I'm not reading it wrong it says low low simmer two three four medium six seven eight and, and high the higher you go the less heat comes out of the burner really is that, is that the way it's supposed to work I don't think so I think it's confused okay that's not bad one two three four Okay. Oh yeah, we're gonna scrape it good. Okay. And let's not forget the cheese. Pepper Jack and medium cheddar. I think we'll go with the meat first. Okay. And we're going to put the sauce. More. I apologize. But finger looking good. The sauce is nice and thick. Good. That's what we want for the burritos. Layer nice thick hot. 
country gravy right there. There we go. Now we're going to put some eggs in there. I'm going to crush them up a little bit. Mix that pepper in at this point. Said we're gonna have monster burritos. <laughs> nice and just a serving of eggs in there. A little bit more right on top there. Cheese. I don't think it'll roll, but I'm gonna try to roll it. <laughs> I'm going to try. Oh, we better get a plate. <laughs> better get the plate out for this. want to put as much in mine, but I do want to use all the ingredients for the four. So I don't have to go left over. Now I have one much for mine, two. So I'll use that much more on this one. There we go. Nice serving of gravy. And it thickens as it cools too. So this is going to be <laughs> very filling, by the way. Mm. Very good. I made it. All right, now we're gonna put some cheese on the top of that. Monstrous burrito. It's gonna fold up the sides of this time. Gotta hold all the food in there. <laughs> there we go. I did it. Okay. Got it. So the the sides are popping out, but that's okay. I'm going to hit my face on that cabinet corner of the So I've got to make sure it's tight. All right. Breakfast burritos are served, babe. Babe? Babe? Yeah. Want some food? Huh? Do you want some food? What do you want to drink? Uh, cheese, well, fine. You don't want orange juice? Okay, if you have orange juice, I don't really have orange juice. Yeah, we bought orange juice this time. This could be why my blood sugar's so high right now. But. Juice. When I found out I had diabetes, I had to give it up. But it's not bad to have it in the house in case my blood sugar plummets. No, that's true. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. 
I don't think you're going to need any other type of sauce. But if you want my opinion, I believe that this horsey sauce will be good in there. I'm going to make myself one instead of two. Those, those two look pretty monstrous. I'll use this piece right here. Got a little end right there that was folded over. So I'll just leave that. Mine's not going to be as big, <laughs> obviously. Because I don't have near the size stomach. I have to eat smaller more smaller meals so i've become over the years i've become a grazer because it helps my stomach digest because i have very slow digest digestive system so when i eat a meal like this it's kind of harsh on me but i do it because i gotta live and that's probably why my weight my weight fluctuates so to the extreme of both ways I went from 125 to 200 pounds in 2020 in nine months, 10 months, no, more like six months because for the first few months I had didn't lose weight. There's a lot of gravy on there. Oh, a lot of gravy in there. I just don't want to stay on top. I got to stay on top. Look there. There we go. That's probably enough eggs. That's pretty big, actually. <laughs> I'm making it pretty big for myself. And cheese. I like cheese. Lots of cheese for me. There we go. I'm going to try the horsey sauce as well. Excuse me, Doctor. Pardon me. Messy, messy girl. All right. <laughs> A mess of mine. Okay. I could have cut it in half. Wash my hands. Oh, All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, there you go. Breakfast burritos. What, half hour maybe? What's that? What did that take me? Oh, 45 minutes, because I'm a slow ass. Can't do anything fast. <laughs> I'm too picky. I can be not picky though. I can blow it off. Get a little anxiety and be okay. Okay, that's later. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I don't have to be picky. My husband's like, you're right. <laughs> How's the burrito, babe? Excellent. Is it excellent? He says it is excellent. excellent. Let's give it a C. What's it look like in there? Oh, it's all coming out the bottom, too. Well, there you go. I'm going to try it. See if he's lying to me. Gravy's a little thick, gotta say, but I wanted it that way. It's delicious. Put a little horsey sauce on that, yeah. What do you think? Did you put did you try the horsey sauce? 
Babe. Yeah. Did you try the horsey sauce? Mm-hmm. What do you think? Good, huh? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna need some horsey sauce for myself. All right, add my orange juice. So, thank you for joining me for breakfast burritos. And easy, less than an hour, you're done eating. Clean as you go, as, as obviously you see I didn't. Um, it'll be good. So, now we're to eat and cook, 10 minutes clean up, it's all good. And this is the perfect Saturday morning or Sunday morning or holiday morning breakfast. Because by dinner time, especially even on Christmas, um, you're going to be hungry again. So, perfect breakfast, even if you make them smaller, right? But, and the other thing is, I wanted to tell you, my husband and I have decided, oh, you'll have to excuse me, oh, out of control, my nose is. Um, we have decided to postpone our Christmas dinner because he has to work on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. So, which is, you know, that's what happens when you're in this business. So you gotta, you gotta work with it. So it's not a problem. Um, his next day off from, from Christmas is Wednesday. So we are gonna have Christmas dinner on Wednesday afternoon so we can relax and we'll just celebrate, you know, life. So it'll be fine. Um, and it's kind of like right in between I sure did do that. <laughs> I, sure did. I was tucking one away for later. <laughs> um, it's right in between Christmas and New Year's, so it'll be fine. And he has to work on New Year's. So this year the holidays didn't work out on the same on the right day, but maybe next year, the next year it will. We don't know. Um, I can look. I can look it up and see. But right now I don't know. So um, there's that. Thank you again for joining my channel. I, yes, I'm being wasteful with the paper towels. I apologize. I'm try, I'm not trying to. This one's going to be used for my nose again. So I'm sorry. <laughs> dab, 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 dab. So and now I, I'll use it for my nose again. So tuck it right there for now. It, thank you very much. Oh, say hi. Say hi, bud. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you for joining me, and I'm so glad to get back into it. Ooh, the camera's going to fall. I'll talk to you later. Bye.